And to other stories, the federal government has approved the establishment of a National Institute of Technology in Abuja with two universities of technology in Jigawa and Akwa Ibom states, while also upgrading and equipping four others. Helen Osamedekins reports. President Mamadou Buhari in 2015 promised to establish an APES National Institute of Technology in Abuja and one in each of the six geopolitical zones of the country. The reason is to stimulate rapid technological transformation in the country. Six years down the line, the promise is gradually becoming a reality. Here at this meeting, the Minister of Education announces the federal government's plans to commence the project. The Federal Universities of Technology, Yola, Akure, Owere and Mina are to be upgraded and equipped to National Institutes of Technology, while two others will be established in Jigawa and Akwaibon states. The President has approved a take-off grant of 4 billion naira each to commence the projects. As a postgraduate center devoted to research and innovation, drawing the best graduates from the six universities of technology, as well as other exceptional graduates from reputable universities within and outside Nigeria. It will be established this year, 2021. While the upgrade of the existing four universities of technology, as well as a new institute of technology in Abuja, will come on stream next year. The president also approved the establishment of two specialized universities in health, nutrition and medical sciences to be located at Azarebochi State and Ilaorogun of Oshun State. For building national preparedness and resilience in anticipation of future challenges in the health sector, while reducing medical tourism to countries like India, UAE, Egypt, Europe, and the USA. To ensure early takeoff of these institutions, Mr. President also approved a takeoff grant of 4 billion naira each for the universities of technology and 5 billion naira each for the universities of health sciences from the funding resources of TESPON. The federal government is optimistic that with the establishment of these institutions and more to come, lack of access to universities will soon become a thing of the past.